Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 5th, 2018. Excuse me, 2019. <laughs> I, I'm a year behind. Um, hey, I hope everyone uh, survived yesterday well, and hope everyone kind of heeded the warnings of, of the videos on Friday and um, yesterday about the possibility of the pop and drop pattern and we did get that last Friday and we ended up getting um, kind of a nasty reminder uh, today or yesterday that the bears are still here that possibly the market kind of had, had forgotten about that that we've become a little bit complacent and that the bears are still here and they are hungry after 11 weeks of rally if we take a look at this on a weekly chart after 11 weeks of rally the bears are just a little bit hungry and they happened to show up yesterday with a bit of a vengeance I'm um, gapping up in the morning if we take a look at a short-term chart here gapping up in the morning and never at one time did we see evidence that the bulls or, or buyers were going to step in um, after that gap up open sending us uh, down sharply um, at the end of the day and once we had uh, that economic data yesterday we had um, construction spending show a, a decline uh, that really started to um, put some pressure on the market sending us lower now today we have some some worries in the economic calendar that we have to pay attention to as well we'll talk about those in just a moment let's take a look at the technicals here now as rough as yesterday was um, this in, in, in my opinion this has not really created all that much technical damage in the chart this is just kind of that warning shot over the bow that we um, cannot be complacent that we have to remember that no matter um, when you look at however you look at the market price resistance must be respected and um, we we just have um, the bears kind of hanging around up here they're uh, they're hungry and um, they just reminded us a little gentle reminder really that they're there and that we have to respect um, them and pay attention to those resistance levels where they might be willing to step up and defend so right now technically not too much damage here um, yesterday clearly we have a bearish engulfing candle which would suggest a lower um, a lower print but as of right now this morning we have the bulls actually trying to put in just kind of a modest open um, right now just kind of hanging out there um, nothing um, nothing suggesting that we're just going to drop but we'll have to pay attention to that one more stumble if we happen to get another stumble by those bulls um, we could certainly see those bears drive us back down to test some lower levels of support in the market and unfortunately because we ran so sharply up there's not a lot of price support in there to hold us um, in any big bear attack. So um, a push down in here to 25,000 level um, could certainly be possible. This level right in here, not that strong. And um, a push down in there could certainly be in the cards if we stumble just one more time on the bulls. Now, right now, there's no indication that the bulls are going to stumble again. Just that little bit of concern that we have to pay attention to and watch out for here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY also that bearish engulfing candle, but certainly a better situation than the Dow in, in the sense of, of that bearish candle. And the reason I say that is because by the end of the day, we ended up holding this as support. So critical, yes. Pay attention here, yes. And we also want to remember that we have a significant level of price resistance here in this chart. If we take a look and actually draw that chart all the way back here, look at all of these price points in here that are suggesting that this price level is significantly important 
to the SPY. And if uh, it really wouldn't be all that, uh, that surprised to see that failure pattern occur right here. So we need to respect this price resistance. And if the bears come back, if we stumble from here, we could once again see that slide back down into these support areas um, in the chart. And that's not what anyone wants, us, wants to see, but certainly the possibility does exist. And we need to um, respect that possibility in case we do happen to slip. Let's take a look at the Qs. The QQQ doing pretty darn well as um, also um, getting lots of defense right in here off of this little price support area, holding up pretty good um, at the end of the day. And you can see this morning, um, it is just a tiny bit lower this morning. Um, and so we want to respect this price resistance level up here and just realize that it is in place and that the bears are up there and they're trying to defend. And we have all of this evidence through here of this being an, an important level up in this area. So we'll want to respect that level as we continue to press and approach that area up there. Remember, we still have the possibility that at any time US China trade deal could be announced and that could change the attitude of the market in half a heartbeat. So not all is lost here. And um, even if we do get more of a pullback, I don't know that it's going to be all that critical as we wait for that U.S.-China trade deal um, announcement. So kind of keep an eye up here. Just respect that price resistance and be a little bit careful. And once again, like I say, if we were to stumble, if we were to dip back down below that support level, that's where things start to get a little bit more critical in um, in this chart. So if we dip back down there, um, watch that closely, we could see more of that, uh, that bear push in to test some significant levels of support. Let's take a quick look at IWM. IWM, um, not, a, not a pretty chart here, a little bit more like the Dow, but it ended up di uh, holding right in this area. So not too bad, you know, by the end of the day, held that up pretty well. A dip down into here, um, seems very likely on IWM and and honestly not a technical problem at all in the chart if we dip down into there if we do happen to break that though and come back down into these levels of support that's where a little bit of concern would come into the market so we need those bulls to really step up and defend we need to have them watching this really really close and we don't need another stumble uh, we need those bulls to stand firm and defend uh, their uh, trend. Let's take a look at the VIX. Yesterday, I remember, uh, if you remember, I've kind of been talking about this for a few days, that if um, we did catch some fear and some fear popped up in here, that um, that fear um, we needed to see this level defend that area that's uh, resistance level hold on to the fear and we ended up getting that yesterday and actually a pretty volatile day overall in the VIX where we popped up and then uh, boy for some reason the fear just dropped all the way back out even though there uh, is pretty bearish candles left in the in the chart but remember i said as long as we hold underneath here we're going to be pretty good the real problem will occur is if we break above that and hold it as support from there um, things could get pretty ugly so watch that we want to see this area right in here continue to hold that fear level down in the market Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 finally saw that little bit of a pushback in here, pushing us down. At one point, we moved um, all the way down into here on T2122, but those bulls fighting back yesterday brought us right back up, so we're still above that 50% area here in the market. Now, what that tells us is we do have room to the upside to move now. We've, given, we've opened up that window to the upside for a potential move, but but we still have to respect those bearish engulfing candles and realize that we also have room to the downside. No one wants to see that occur, but the possibility does exist. So we need to make sure and have that thought process in our plan. Don't just blindly stick your head in the sand thinking the market cannot go down because 
um, yesterday proved to us that it certainly can and that reminder that the bears are still there and that they are hungry so any little stumble could send us um, further lower so watch that closely but again the good news here is that we've opened finally opened up that window which gives us that opportunity or better opportunity for that bounce back up um, just watch that downside move as well let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today this is a place where we want to pay attention I think this morning um, we have um, on the economic calendar today first thing out of the box here today we've had uh, Fed speakers um, coming in but um, and of course PMI services which is not expected to move the market the place where we could stumble is right here those new home sales um, last week we had a, a number that disappointed the market and we had a little quick sell-off that um, the, the bulls decided to ignore and come right back from now what they've done on the consensus here is they have lowered the consensus for this uh, number uh, this morning if we were to happen to miss again on that consensus number in new home sales we could see some trouble and we've seen new home sales pending home sales and now construction spending uh, from yesterday all showing those declines as well as some retail sales numbers that have not been um, you know uh, very happy so if that were to falter once again that might be that stumble point that sends us a little bit lower and we'll want to keep an eye on that also keep in mind we have the ISM non-manufacturing report um, it can move us around certainly but not expected to move us near as much and then Treasury budget um, at 2 p.m. which can move us around but once again not very much to worry about there but that will be the important number to hear today 10 a.m. Eastern kind of keep your eyes focused on that price action because if we were to falter here it could um, it could really create that stumble in the market that we don't want to see if if um, they lowered those uh, that consensus estimate enough we may come in in line or actually beat it and then things would be okay but if that consensus estimate misses by a lot um, that's where we could run into that problem and they did lower that consensus estimate significantly. Let's take a um, look um, on the earnings calendar. We had um, oh, uh, over 120 companies reporting earnings today, um, and lots of those earnings are rolling um, in this morning. We saw um, uh, CRM, CRM um, had kind of a disappointment here um, on, on uh, their earnings and you can see moving just a little bit lower here this morning a um, little bit of scare ahead of that earnings report uh, and that has proved to be right as we're gapping just slightly lower so we always want to be really careful around those earnings reports and watch those closely and just respect um, those earnings reports I really try to encourage people not to gamble around earnings there's just too many Many, too many things that can occur that are unexpected a, a CEO resigning a a change in in some policy or, or some, uh, guidance uh, in the quarters uh, lower and those all create um, big potential moves and there's no way to predict that so be careful around those earnings events and try not to do uh, make your if you do decide to gamble around them keep that limited um, we still have a big week of earnings ahead of us so let's watch those closely so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos then please do me a favor click that subscribe button on YouTube the follow me button on Facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you guys are just awesome thank you for doing that thank you for taking the time it means a lot to me I, I put a lot of effort into getting these videos out and it truly means a lot to me when you guys um, make that that effort to just just acknowledge that and thank you so much for that it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks and also do me a favor everyone if if you believe this video is worthy then um, share this video post it on your Facebook page post it on your Twitter page um, help me get the word out to other folks that we're doing something different here and trying to help those traders do a better job with their morning prep and um, please feel free to share this at any time with any friends and family you guys are awesome thank you for everyone who does so 
with that, let's take a look at some charts that um, can be setting up or could be setting up for potential trades. Let's take a look at Home Depot here. Home Depot has a pattern that we want to pay attention to. Home Depot now has broken its downtrend or excuse me, broken its uptrend, broke its uptrend, and now we move through here and we're consolidating right across this level. As you can see, I've placed an alert right here. I'm kind of paying attention to Home Depot for the possibility of that further failure, maybe a short trade. Um, by the way, uh, most of you know that I trade options on this, so that would, um, a quick move down could be very profitable in options. This may not be all that suitable for a stock trade. But this pattern is a pattern that I pay attention to. We call this the bearish H. That bearish H pattern, if that fails and follows through, then we look for those next levels of support in that chart and, um, and try to trade that that stock down into that level. So that failure, not looking so good. And with housing numbers maybe coming in weaker, construction spending showing some problems, this might be a place where you can look uh, for uh, that potential short in a trade. Let's take a look at STX. STX would be on the other side of this. And by the way, this line that I have on here could move around significantly yet. I don't know where that's going to end up being, but please keep in mind that what we've done here is we broke through a significant level of resistance here in STX. And now we've had this nice controlled pullback. And you can see I've placed a price alert right in here. I'm waiting to see if we can get those buyers after maybe a little bit more rest in here, move over toward the trend a little bit more, uh, pop up in here. And I want to be watching and ready for that, for that potential move higher. So kind of keep an eye right in here for that potential of STX. It's looking pretty decent right here. Um, EA, EA um, had this major rejection. They missed on earnings, but the market absolutely rejected uh, that sell-off. And we moved up strongly, um, hit this price resistance, pulled back, and you can see now we're consolidating that move. I'm not 100% sure where this trend line is. Um, and the reason is because of this, this big move here. But we wanna watch this area closely and just notice that we've, we've got this little area right here where there's no buyers above this area, but what's more importantly is there's no, no sellers below this area. And if we are still trending, then what we wanna do is we wanna watch for that next buy signal to pop up in here. And you can see where my alert is, where I would be paying attention to that chart if it popped up and may have an opportunity for an upside move there. So one to keep an eye on. Um, another potential short idea would be glue, G-O-U-U, glue breaking its downtrend here you can see we struggled right in here i was hoping we would catch that buy signal up through here did not occur we broke down and now we're rallying back up here toward price resistance we still need a failure up here but right now we have a little little tiny spinning top doji or shooting star and a hanging man pattern here as we approach this price resistance a little bit of a failure in here could certainly send glue lower so watch this if that does happen to catch that failure we could have that uh, short opportunity here so a little bit of both sides here today i'm showing you two sides of the market and places to kind of pay attention to in those charts everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and um, if you're struggling as a trader just keep at it you know dig in do a little bit more practice remember you can trade a paper trade account build that confidence uh, uh, really study those price patterns and if there's anything that we can do to help you please uh, uh, feel free to ask everyone take care wish you all the best have an awesome awesome day.